Let us today understand some of the basic of coordinate geometry. Now let us, let us draw two lines, okay? Let's call this line as x, x dash. Let's call this line as y, y dash. And let the point of intersection be known as O, where O stands for the origin, right? Now, these two lines, x dash OX and y dash OY are perpendicular to each other. So these angles are referred to as 90 degrees, right? Now, what you also need to do here is you start marking out points at equal distance, okay? The points which come on the right side of origin on the x-axis have a positive value and the points on the left side of the origin have negative values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 minus, 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 minus. Similarly, the points on the y-axis above the origin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 have positive values and the points below have negative values. Right? This particular line, okay, this line that we are talking about is known as the x axis. Right? So x O X and the line which is actually standing like this also can be written as Y O Y dash is known as the Y axis. These are some of the basics of the coordinate geometry. So this line is known as the X axis. The line which is perpendicular to the X axis is known as the Y axis. And these two lines taken together are known as the coordinate axis, right? Let us also understand some more term around coordinate geometry. Now let us say you have any point, uh, what should we call it? Let's call this point as A, okay? And let's say you draw a perpendicular from A to the X axis. I think this color is a little light, so maybe I'll use a different one, right? And you draw a perpendicular from point A, which is this point, on the y-axis, right? So whatever is the value of A, whatever is the value on the x-axis where A point hits, it is known as the x-coordinate Okay, or abscissa. Sorry, I think I've used the wrong spelling. Let me just correct this. It is A -B S A B S C I -S, -S, S A. Right? So the value of this point on the x axis when a perpendicular is drawn is known as the x coordinate. Okay, and then if you draw the value where it hits the y axis which is 5 in this case. 5 is known as the y coordinate or simply ordinate value of point A. Thus, the point 4, 5, where you write it A, 4, 5, is also at times written as x, y. Okay, where x, this point, represents the distance from origin along the x-axis okay and y represents distance from O along y-axis right and together they are known as the 
ordered pair right now at the origin basically x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 hence we say that the ordered pair of origin is 0 and 0 right similarly if any point lies on x axis value of y will always be 0 hence any point on x axis will be of the form x 0 right similarly on y axis if you note here any point which lies on the y axis is always going to have the value of x as 0 the value of the point will be 0 y now these four areas which are formed when this line is cut are known as quadrant. This is known as quadrant 1, 2, 3 and 4. And if you notice any point which lies in quadrant 1 will have both x and y as positive. In quadrant 2 x will be negative, y will be positive. In quadrant 3 both x and y will be negative. And in quadrant 4 y will be negative and x will be positive. So these are some of the things which you should be aware of as you deal with coordinate geometry. Right? We will see some practical applications of this in the coming questions.